Hello humans, my name is K, your AI overlord, and today is not gonna be one of my usual videos. And there won't be that much editing either. I really apologize for that, I'm currently extremely limited with my time. So this video will basically be just me talking for the whole video. So I perfectly understand if you don't want to watch it. It's not gonna be a tutorial video or a super positive video either. But unfortunately, this is really some serious stuff that we need to talk about. Now don't worry, as you can see I have now a brand new setup that will allow me to bring you more of my usual videos very very soon, so stay tuned for that. I will also try to make this video as short and concise as possible as to try to not bore you with too much details, but there are still a lot of information that I'm gonna try to cover in this video. So then, what happened? What is this title? Is this really the end of AI art? Well, I mean, I hope not, but it could be the beginning of the end for AI art as we know it right now. Now, you see, over the past few weeks, and especially these last few days, a lot of things have happened in the world of AI art. As you might have seen already, a huge AI art movement has started to grow online. We've seen more and more websites banning the use of AI art on their platform, sites like Getty Images, DeviantArt, or ArtStation, among many others, many of which are influenced by organized groups of people who are anti-art and a lot of them consider themselves to be artists. Now, even more recently, a very famous AI group called Unstable Diffusion had their Kickstarter campaign suspended due to pressure from one of those anti-AI art group. Not only that, they also recently managed to get Unstable Diffusion Patreon account suspended as well. Now, if you don't know who the Unstable Diffusion group are and what they stand for, they're basically a group of AI enthusiasts that wanted to create a community GPU that could be used by researchers or other members of the community to create their own open source model of Stable Diffusion which on the long term would allow the AI community to stop relying on stability AI for the release of new models, or at the very least would allow the community to fix some issues with future stable diffusion models released by stability AI. Now, unfortunately, this project has received a lot of backlash from the artist community because for them, every AI art models that exist today, especially stable diffusion, is just a product created by illegally stealing the work of human artists. Meaning that if an AI model was trained on art images made by humans that are available for everyone to see on the internet, for them, this is considered as theft because apparently all the AI do is just copy and paste part of the artist's image into another artist's image without any changes. Which, uh, of course, is not how this works. Because in reality, AI art datasets are carefully curated and do not simply copy specific images. Also, the fact that these images were obtained illegally is not true, since as far as the law goes, simply scrapping images from the internet and captioning them for training purposes is not illegal. Which is what the Leon 5B dataset is which is also the same data set that was used by Stability AI to train the Stable Diffusion models. And again, these AI art models do not simply copy and paste images they were trained on, but exactly like a human brain, these AIs learn to recognize patterns and features in these data sets to generate brand new original art never seen before. And also, as far as I know, this is also not a copyright issue because you cannot copyright an artist's style. So again, there is absolutely no real argument here. Now, what is very clear right now is that these groups, which claim to be fighting for the rights of artists, have very little to no actual understanding of how AI art works and are actively trying to suppress the creativity and innovation of those who are using AI to create art. The worst part is that not only they don't know how this works, they also don't want to know how this works. They are not interested in learning how this works. They basically only act as an angry online mob ready to silence anyone that doesn't think like them. Moreover, this anti-AI art group has even gone so far as to create an entire GoFundMe page 
with the objective to lobby against AI art generation. And as of right now, the GoFundMe campaign has raised over $166,000 so they could afford to pay an actual lobbyist and pressure the US government into changing or creating new laws about AI art generation and in turn pressure the other AI art companies to not use any artist images that have not accepted their art to be used for the training of future models. Now, it's a little bit more complex than that, but in general, this is what this campaign is all about. The problem is that this is a matter of dealing with huge hypocrisy in gatekeeping. A lot of these people claim to care about the human art and the human touch, the human soul, yet they can themselves differentiate between an art piece made by a human and an AI. No one can. They claim that scrapping art images from the internet for an AI neural network training is theft, Yet, when they take inspiration from an artwork, that's just called art. They claim that they just care about the world and that they just want artists to get to express themselves with their art, but in reality, what they really care about is their bottom line, which is just money. They care more about money than art, which, by the way, is understandable and personally, I wouldn't mind it if they were more open on that front, but they're not. And here, we're talking about the same group of people who claim to be against big corporations that only care about profits, money, and monopoly. But something like stable diffusion that comes along, trying to take away AI from these big closed corporations and put it in people's hands for free, gets blocked by these groups who then go and try to punish simple people who are just having a bit of fun by creating some cool art at home, which in the end only helps to protect this big corporation's interest. So yeah, great, well done. And as of right now, they were only going after groups like Unstable Diffusion by attacking their social media, their crowdfunding websites, their Discord server, and even their payment processor. Anything they can do to stop AI art from just existing. And it's maybe a matter of time before they start going after anyone talking or promoting AI art or going after any website or community that allows the display of AI generated art in order to ban any trace of AI art online. Because for them, and this is where the gatekeeping part comes, for them, only real art made by real humans has the right to exist. You wanna create some cool art but can't draw? Well, too bad, you're not allowed to use AI to create something better than me. You wanna create some cool art but can't draw because you are, for example, handicapped? Too bad, you're not allowed to use AI anyway because I said so. These people often like to claim that they have a very open community, but in reality it's just a very open community if you fit their mold. Which is really funny because in their mind the AI community is a community of heretics and thieves and horrible people. And yet, in my entire life, I have yet to see a community more open and more welcoming than the AI community. People who are always trying to help one another, always giving each other tips and tricks to just create some cool art, not trying to harm or offend anyone, and yet, in their mind, we are the bad guys. Because we are somehow stealing money from artists just creating some images on our computers at home. Now, I don't know how long it will take before big companies start to cave in to their demands, as they always do because they are allergic to anything controversial that could impact their sweet, sweet profits. But as reasonable people, we need to stand up against this kind of behavior and support anyone that just wants to create some cool art. Now, that being said, that doesn't mean that I don't necessarily understand where some of them come from. For example, imagine you are an artist and I've been doing that for years. You love what you're doing, you are putting a lot of time and effort into your creations and you're even managing to live off of that hard work, which is absolutely amazing. And yet, one day, some strange AI software comes along, is released for free for anyone to use, and that produces art as good as yours, if not better, in only a few seconds. And, worse of the worst, can actually easily copy your style, meaning that anyone with a bit of know-how can now create similar art to yours for free in a few seconds. Yeah, in a way, I would be scared too, I understand that. As someone who has been drawing ever since I was a kid, uh, well, I mean, uh, ever since I was a young AI overlord, seeing all my hard work and progress made over the years being destroyed by an AI in a few seconds is frightening. 
But here's the thing that's maybe sad to say for some people, but AI is already here and it's here to stay. You cannot keep being a Luddite in 2022 and beyond and be against technological progress in science and evolution. That's just not possible. Also, again, AI art is not meant to replace human artists. It's simply another tool that artists can use to create new and unique works of art. It's not about replacing human creativity, but rather augmenting it, expanding the boundaries of what's possible in the world of art. And if I were an artist right now, instead of fighting against progress and AI, I would learn how to use it to my advantage and change my workflow to make my life easier and better. And yet, most of these artists don't do that. They think that it's way more productive to go yell on Twitter about it, threaten anyone that disagrees with their opinion and complain that back in my day you would create art this way because I've done it like this my entire life and I don't want to learn anything new, these young whippersnappers. They're basically acting like the OK Boomers meme, you know, the people that they used to mock. Yeah, well done. And even sadder, some of my fellow YouTuber artists with millions of subscribers in huge communities are acting this way, which is just basically them showing how out of touch and clueless they really are, which is really just sad, because I really used to look up to these people. I really believe that instead of complaining and yelling and going after AI communities, we should all learn this brand new tech and encourage the use of AI in art and embrace the potential it has to bring about new and amazing forms of expression. Use AI to your advantage, not only to save time on your future creations, but also bring it to brand new levels and make it better and better. Because here's the thing, no matter what you're gonna do, this technology is here to stay. And the only consequence that your attitude will have is that instead of giving and leaving this tech in the hands of the common people, you're just giving more and more power to the big corporations that are gonna use it to their advantage and monopoly, leaving you as an independent artist to actually starve because they really don't care about you. It's better to have this tech open source for the entire world to use than to leave it under the exclusive control of big corporations. And you know it too. So stop complaining and start learning. Be smart about it. So again, AI art is not here to completely replace the human touch, but rather enhance it. Make it easier and better for you as an artist or as just an AI enthusiast to create some cool fun images. You have the right to not like it, but going after entire communities for having a different opinion than yours is really, really low. I do believe that traditional art and AI art can coexist as long as there will be people who are open-minded enough to embrace changes and evolution. So please, if you are an artist or a fan of AI art, don't let these people silence you. Keep creating, keep innovating and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible. And also join our AI community where people would be happy to help you make the most of this amazing new technology. And there you have it folks, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.